Welcome, welcome, welcome. Come and hang out. So if you're just joining us, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing a, a best of 2020. Best of 2020. So what are the best products in 2020? I mean, it's kind of debatable, and obviously we're price sensitive. Uh, if we had unlimited budgets to do something like this, yeah, we'd probably choose some different products. But what we try to do is we try to capture the, the things in the hobby that tend to be the most desirable amongst, amongst the, most, the largest number of, of collectors. So we're looking at flagship rookies in both base and chrome, and we're looking at um, first Bowmans in base and chrome. So that's kind of what this break is. Uh, it's going to be split into two different nights just because four boxes is a large break and sometimes it's fun to spread it out over different nights. So the theme for tonight is tops. And what we're going to be breaking here tonight is we're going to be breaking tops, a uh, tops retail box actually, series one. And we're going to be breaking uh, a box of tops chrome. Now, what makes this break wild is that previously to tonight, we actually did a draft. And this is pretty common. Like oftentimes people will do draft uh, breaks where you, you draft the Cubs or you draft the Blue Jays or, or whatever. Our draft was a little bit different in that our draft was you draft the team also from the product. So the very first, the 1-1 one, one could have been Topps Chrome Chicago White Sox. The 1-2 could have been Ch uh, Chicago White Sox in Top Series 1. And there was actually 120 different picks that were made over ten, uh, 12 rounds. So it was quite a lengthy process. It took place over a few days. Um, we actually have a Discord uh, that if you're interested, pop by. Um, ask for the Discord link. We can, we can get you invited there. And we can um, bring you into this process because we do a lot of really cool breaks and different things. I, I there's nothing worse than you know paying sixty, seventy, eighty dollars for randomization, and you get Kansas City. And I mean, if you're a Kansas City fan, great. But for the seven of you who are not Kansas City fans, I guess for the seven, for the rest of the population that are not Kansas City fans, um, they're not always. The, the best hit that you can get. So what we did is we figured, hey, you know, let's put a little bit of strategy into this and let's let's try and allow people to control their own destiny. And that's what this is all about. Um, some other things that we do, we do some hit breaks. So basically we break all the cards and then we draft the hits. And um, just just different things. The, the big thing that and the thing that we really try to push over B2B is equitable. And we really want everyone to, to walk away feeling like they got something out of the draft. So I can see some of the boys have loaded in here. I see Alex, I see uh, Rensby, I see Nans, I see Rob. And um, welcome, guys. Welcome. We'll just wait a few more seconds until uh, I see there's seven people watching. We're waiting for Banksy. We're waiting for Bernard. Bernard is never late. So someone check and see um, what he's doing. Um, and maybe if one of you guys can just let us know or let the, the channel know that we are alive and we are about to rip some cards. So that's kind of the breakdown of what this break is going to be. Um, as I mentioned before, we have Topps uh, Series 1 Retail and we have Topps Chrome. And the strategy, and maybe some of the guys can discuss in the chat room there, what some of their strategies were because what you'll see is, and especially if you tune in tomorrow evening, you'll notice that so you can see over there on the left hand side the breakdown of the individuals. And there's some individuals who actually have no teams in tonight's draft. They just didn't want any Tops product. They wanted to load up on Bowman Draft and load up on Bowman. So it's a little bit of a strategic play. It's a little bit of trying to outsmart your opponent. There's a lot of, a lot of trash talking that goes on and I'm all here for it. And I uh, hope you guys are too. So without further ado, uh, what we're going to do at this point is we are going to start to crack this. So just make sure, let me have everything. Um, I figured what we would do is we would start with uh, the retail box, probably because that's the least desirable of all four of the boxes. So let's get it out of the way. Plus it has Pete Alonzo on the front. 
and only Pete Alonso. So this is probably going to be a disappointing box if we're judging by his 2020 season. Now this box also has Pete Alonso on it, but it also has Aaron Judge, who also had a disappointing season. So um, not expecting a lot. Now let's cut this open. You'll notice I've got this amazing knife. This is what the t most of the tools look like in my household, and they are pink, <laughs> and came in a handy little case that said, the toolkit for the princess in your household, which I guess is me. So, let's do this. That's what we'll do, we'll bust this open. Oh, the 2020 season was fine. Was it Tyson? <laughs> There's nothing weird or wonderful about that. All right. So you can see here, there's our empty box. And um, yeah, exact. Thank you, Rob. We're looking at, you can see that here. We're looking at 24 packs, 16 cards per pack. And there's some warnings there and don't put it in your mouth kind of stuff. All right. So let's do this. So packs lined up. Maybe I'll just put them in some piles here. And let's go. <laughs> 93rd is good, Tyson. 93rd is good if you're going on like a global ranking. All right, so let's see what we got here. We got some old school cards, or at least they feel old school at this point. Trevor Richard, Maeda, <laughs> doesn't even play on this team anymore. Mikey Scrimshie, Future Stars. If anyone sees any any short prints that they want me to uh, shout out, then just let me know. Got some uh, Tommy Edmond. Ooh, there's a foil in here, I can see that. So no rookie cards so far. And our first, is it, ooh, that's actually not too bad. AJ Puck, foil rookie. Just set that aside. Got a Charlie Blackman, Turkey, um, Jose Rojas, and Tommy Lastella. Cool. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to penny sleeve these all just to, to make sure that they get some protection, and then I'll put them in top loaders after uh, after the broadcast. Pack number two. That's actually not bad for a first little pack. Yeah, I think a lot of people have a lot of this already. A lot of Series 1. Series 1 was kind of like... It was kind of the set that jumped out onto the scene right when the pandemic happened. There's a Tatis. Tim Anderson. And so it was kind of like what everyone had when they had money to spend on cards and nothing else to spend it on because we were all locked down. So uh, Series 1, there's, there's never a shortage of it. That being said, uh, this this series was no slouch. There's tons of rookies in there, and um, ooh, oh, this is a home run. <laughs> uh, a Jordan Alvarez home run card. So make sure you check that. That goes to I think it's Richard. I'm assuming it's Richard. Yeah, it's Richard. Richard doesn't disappoint. Whit Merrifield and Sam Pelliard. All right, so, so far only one hit. Oh, this has something in it. Again, these are retail packs, so that's why you're seeing the, you're gonna see stuff like this in there. Just to make sure no one steals it. Kind of like the real retail packs a little bit better because you tend to get a little more um, of the inserts in there, which I guess no one really wants. Otis Guriel, Paulsman Cisco. Oh, look at this. Kansas City just raking right now. Rendon, Strasburg, Mitch Hanniger, Mike Messina, 85. Oh, a little Biggio. A little Biggio action there. Not sure who took the Jays, but they will not be disappointed. Continuing on, all right, 
put that in the sub pile? Absolutely. Whip Merrifield. Going right in the sub pile. Ooh, there's an Acuna on the top. That's one you won't throw out. Probably won't do anything else with it though. Mitch Garver. Chris, <laughs> most overpaid man in all of sports history. Rosario, Nick Solak rookie. So, Nick Solak is primed to break out this year. Personally guaranteeing that Nick Solak will be better than he was last year. And if you're looking at drafting him in fantasy leagues, try to go first or second round on Nick Solak. You got something coming up here. Oh, it's a Chrome uh, Garrett Cole, which is hilarious because he doesn't even play in Houston anymore. And then we've got DeGrom on the Mets, Ryan Anderson, and Mike Moustakis. So, so far, nothing too exciting. Let's see what else is in here. What else is in here? All right. Half of these guys aren't even playing these teams anymore. DeGrom. Like I said, keep your eyes peeled for any um, SPs or SSPs, just because I'm not 100% familiar on what all of them look like. Usually they'll look something like this, though. They're like an, an alternate type of photo. Liam Hendricks, who's going to be a J soon. Max Scherzer, Emilio Pagan, Erlandi, Dale Murphy, Chris Archer, Max Stassi, and Adrian Morjohn. So again, none of the big names we're looking for. We're looking for the Jordans, we're looking for Bichette, we're looking for um, Nico Horner. We're looking, oh, there's a foil here. Jose Peraza, Kirby Yates, John Gray, Mike Brasso, Juan Soto, Bro oh, Brock Holt, there you go. There's your fantasy darling. Brock Holt is the, li Brock Holt is the line. It looks actually like, uh, I think it's just a regular foil. Aaron Nola, and we have Logan, a Logan Allen rookie card. Now, Logan Gall Allen is also in Bowman Draft, and if you're confused, it's because there is two pitchers on the, the Cleveland Baseball Club that are both named Logan Allen. Both of them are probably equally bad, but just in case, we will sleeve this up. <laughs> yeah. The Polar Bears? All right, let's see. I have a very strong feeling that there will be no polar bears in this. A very strong feeling. But, you never know. So we got some Tyler White here. It's so funny, Dustin May, okay, there you go. There's one of the rookies that are decent. Nico Horner, oh, look, look here, we got a Tops 1. Series Hot Packs. Yeah, I, you know what's weird? I still get emails, because I bought tickets to um, a Cleveland game once, and I still get emails from them, and it still comes from Indians.com. And I feel like writing them and saying, like, all right, guys, time to change that shit. But I guess the thing in baseball is tradition dies hard. Tradition dies hard in baseball. Tops 1 Series Hot Packs, or Top Series 1 Hot Pack. We had two rookie cards there. Justin Turner. He's still a free agent, actually. Love to see him on the Jays. Uh, there we go. There's our Lexi. Set that aside. There's the Lux. And Alex Young, Austin Hedges, Garcia, Wade Davis. Ugh, Joey Votto, Canadian kid, Steve Matz, oh, I think this is the Gavin Lux SP, someone confirm that, pretty sure it is though, Ooh, it's, it's, it's a nice shape too, that, that's 100% the Gavin Lux SP, isn't it, well, let me look, fuck, that's way too small, I can't see that. 
one thing you'll learn is that my eyesight is Terribla. Nice. There we go. There's the SP. Who's who's that going to? Who's that going to? Oh, jeez, Bernard. Motherfuck. I always get excited for hits, and then I'm like, oh, it's the guy who always gets great hits. Just once. Why can't the little guy win? Why can't... Why can't the the Ryans or the Banksies or you know some of those guys? Why has it always gotta be Bernard? All right, so hold on. Let me just make sure. Actually, what I'm gonna do? Just give me two seconds here. Um, actually, no. I'm just gonna put this aside just to make sure that I don't touch it. Uh, that that was a nice pack, though. That was a nice pack for the Dodgers. I know we're on a timeline here, so I'm just trying to make sure that we don't go past our timeline and just want to do it as efficient as it possible. Yeah, I know. In in these boxes, that's the home run. So we hit our home run. Great. Now it's just entertainment value at this point. Got the Rendon, the Aaron Hicks. What I'll do is I'll give unsolicited fantasy baseball advice. If you uh, are listening to this and you're interested in fantasy baseball, that's cool. Um... We have a few leagues, but they're all full, and uh, no no room at the end. And we've got an Aussie Albies. That's cute. A little Aussie Albies card here. Throw that aside. Oh, and then we've got a Lorenzo Cain, so I'm sure that we could mail that to his parents, and they'd be happy with that. And Luke Voigt. Now, Luke Voigt, do not draft him in fantasy baseball leagues. He's going way too high. He, his last year was kind of a fluke, and we're not even really sure if he's going to be the everyday first baseman next year. I should say this year. So avoid Luke Voigt like the plague. Got some Josh Bell, who was good for six months and then was never good again. I know Paxton, who's unsigned. Dylan Cease. I'll put that over there just because of Dylan. Reese McGuire, Segura, blah, 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 Perez. Oh, another home run challenge card. This time it is Manny Machado. I don't even know why I'm putting these aside. No one cares, and it's expired. Uh, Stanton, ooh. Now, this is Mike Trout. Now, I know that there's a reverse image of this. I don't believe that this is it. I think this is just a regular card. But just in case it is, I'll throw it in the sleeve. I think the reverse image is super, super rare, and I wouldn't expect to see that because we've already seen one SP. We can, we can find a polar bear, Rob. We, I'll do my very best to find you a polar bear, but really, I'm talking out of my ass because I really have no control over this. I'm just the, the, the dude that rips open the, the plastic. We got some kind of a rookie here. I'm, oh, the biggest tease. The biggest tease since Bernard's ex-wife is Matt Thassis. And he is just not a tease amongst baseball enthusiasts, but anyone who's ever opened a pack of baseball cards. Logan Allen again. Molina. I don't think that's an SP. Arenado. And Marcelo Zuna for the Cardinals. Marcelo Zuna is also a free agent and also has not signed. Ryan Braun, geez, he really faded to obscurity. Conforto, someone who I hate for fantasy next year. <laughs> no, he didn't. Tell your kid, what's your kid's name again? Damien, I'm assuming. <laughs> oh, we have a numbered card here. I have no idea what it is, but it's number 299. Congratulations, you just pulled a Victor Robles World Series card, so that'll be good if Victor Robles ever learns how to hit a baseball. Blah, blah, blah. Luca, Luca, that's right. <laughs> uh, sorry, Luca. My, my angst is not 
aim or my, my burns are not aimed at you, they're aimed at your dad. And so do not take it personally, but I'm sure that you've probably got thick skin if you're Bernard's kid, so. Oh. Robles is not good. I don't care what anyone says. Robles is not good. If you want to make an argument for it right now, Tyson, you can go ahead. The floor is yours. But I'll tell you, Robles is great and fast, but he's basically Billy Hamilton. Changed my mind. This might be a sleeper card. I'm going to set this aside. Because that's a, that's a, that's a steal of a card right there. Oh, there we go. Jeez, I wasn't even paying attention. So we got the Bichette. So I believe Richard has the Blue Jays. I will tell you, Richard, that this is 100% a 10. Looks very, very sparkly. Oh, and then we've got a Rosarania. Well, this is a this is a spicy little number that we got here. Spicy little pack of cards. I guess, yeah. At least at least Billy Hamilton runs the bases. Oops. So we got Cueto, I mean, everything after this is... Oh, does Bernard have the Blue Jays here? Motherfuck. Ooh, this is fun. I'll just go through these other ones quickly, because they're probably shit. Um, King Griffey Jr., now this does not look like the other 1985 cards. I'm not kind of, I'm not really sure what insert or... Oh. Yeah, that's not as fun as I thought it was. But it's still a Ken Griffey Jr. Alright, we're trucking right along here. Richard has it in Chrome. So basically, Bernard has all the cards that are worthwhile in this box. We should have just given this box to Bernard. And Luca. Yeah, do you think he's still going to have a spot? And Robles, that is. Do you think Robles is still going to have a spot at the top of the order? because I think that's important for his success. Uh, Diaz, Chapman, Ma Malik Smith. Oh, where did you go, Malik Smith? Malik Smith is another. Ma Malik Smith is actually a Billy Hamilton type. He can't hit a baseball, but he can run. Uh, there's something here. Bichette Biggio. A Biggio right after it. That's my Randall. A Yasiel Puig turkey. Benny and Cesar Hernandez. Robin, really working on that polar bear for you. Did he never? I'm pretty. Did he not bat at the top of the order at one point? Alcantara, Lindor, going to be a Blue Jay soon. Luke Jackson, Bryce Harper, will never be a Blue Jay. Just in case you're watching this and you have no idea why I'm referencing the Blue Jays so much, it's because we all live in the... Ooh, Zach Gallen for president. A wonderful country of Canada, which is where we grossly overpay for Blue Jays cards. Ooh, a Gavin Lux rookie card in Turkey. I think they call Turkey Red. And then a Mike Fires. So we are stacking these Dodgers up. Whoever picked the Dodgers in here, uh, that was a great pick. This is Zach Gallen. Who has, who has the Diamondbacks? It's probably Bernard. Oh, geez, it is Bernard. Zach Gallen's in my top 10 for pitchers in 2021. And he's so young. And I think he, statistically, I think he has had the best start to a major league career in major league history. To a career in major league history. Now, I know that. Fernando Valenzuela had like a ridiculous 7 and 0 start with a one hitters and stuff like that. I think they're talking about like over 15 or 16 starts. Column A. Column A, no. Column B. Mikolas. Vladdy. Got the Angels. We got a foil card coming up here. And that. Oh, that's kind of a cool picture. 
as far as pitchers on cards go. We have, oh man, I saw the Blue Jays logo and I got excited. Brandon Drury, and then I got less excited. I'm not even going to sleeve that. Peralta Pineda. Brandon Drury. Man, I thought that was a bow foil for a second. If that was a bow foil, and that would have been a sweet card. Yes, 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 we know Bernard. It's all yours. Do you have the Robles too? Who's got the Nationals? We've got... Rob's got the Nationals, so there you go. Rob gets something that you don't get. I know. Bernard's crushing this box. Which is something that no female has ever said before. Uh, Brennan McKay. <laughs> Sorry, Luca. Hopefully it's not genetic. <laughs> Polanco hasn't signed yet. Ryan Presley. Ooh, there we go. Who's got the brew crew? Richard. Some hits for Rich. Roger Clemens. I think the Hall of Fame vote's coming up soon. Or, I mean, it's obviously ongoing, but the announcement of the results. <laughs> oh, Bernard. Bernard can't take a burn. Always has to have a comeback. Um, does anyone know when they announced the, the Hall of Fame results? I remember last year when they did Larry Walker, it was cold out. Someone, I read somewhere online that said that they're trending to have no one elected into the Hall of Fame this year. No one's going to get over the 70, 75% threshold. I think, um, I think Kurt Schilling would if he wasn't Kurt Schilling. Literally, if he was anyone else. Oh, there we go. Six packs left. We get the Orton. Oh, look, right after that is the Kyle Lewis. Oof. This is another spicy pack. These spicy packs come out like every four or five packs, and then we get some things that are have a little have a little tinge to them. Uh, and then we get Bubba Sterling that no one cares about. JD Martinez. Jeez, this guy fell off the face of the earth fast. Uh, close call. Who cares? Tanaka, Ian Desmond. This thing. It's a die cut of Mariano Rivera. Jordan and Lewis back to back. Uh, so we have Zach Greinke, and then we have a Shane Biebs and an Austin Nola. I mean, I think we're getting all of the things that you could ever want out of a box of this. We got a short print of a decent rookie. We're getting all the major rookie cards. Is there anyone that we're missing? Is there any rookie card that we're missing out on? Like a flagship? It's hard to think when you're, when you're on the fly here. So we got the Renfro, Kyle Hendricks, if you're doing some fantasy research, and I know I'm tipping my hand a little bit here, but Kyle Hendricks is sneaky good, like a top 15, 18 pitcher the last few years. Devers, Shane Green, Ramirez, he's, he's terrible. Oh, that's the wrong, wrong guy. Um, Carson Kelly. <laughs> Zach Wheeler, Marquez, Ben Gamble, Beggs, uh, Eloy, cool, Sean Murphy, rookie, and Jock Peterson. Yes, and the polar bear. We need to get the polar bear. We've got one, two, three, four packs left, including this one. Rob, who do you have in this? Rob's got the Mets, the Nats. So you got the Rob Robles. You've got the Giants, Kansas City. Okay, so not all of your, your heater teams are here. Let's see what we can do for some Mets. Yelich. Yelich. He's another guy that faded quickly. Goldschmidt, JP, Kevin Pilar. There you go, Rob. I'm assuming that's not the card you're looking for. Starling Marte. Crawford. Austin Meadows, another home run card, Tatis, I think those are just garbage, I don't know, does anyone know if you can redeem them or do anything with them? Jeff McNeil, Future Stars, and JT Riddle. So our, oh sorry, we actually have four packs left, 
one hiding there. Sandoval, Fletch, Anthony K. For Dugo. Who else are we looking for? Who else are we looking for besides Ibrahim Choro, Mondesi, oops, Kurt Suzuki, Christian Yelich, Travis. Oh, there's a gold. It's the wrong gold. It's Matt Thassis. Again, I'm going to call this guy's Bernard's wife. Ex-wife, sorry. And sorry again to Luka Doncic. Matt Bass is gold rookie, which I'm sure will fetch a pretty penny on the open market. And we are getting down to the wire here. Verlander, whose career might be done. Oh, there's the player that we love to hate, slash I love to hate, because he's no good. Austin Riley, Ken, 100 Miles Giles. Not sure what's going to happen to him, but if they retain him, I don't know if he's a free agent. Kikuchi, the Calgary boy, Mike Soroka. Kepler, Tyon, uh, Monte Irvin, Bellinger, and Osuna. All right, peeling down to our last pack. Oh, two packs left. Two packs left here, folks. I hate cliche things. I think one of the things that I hate the most, and this is going to sound really weird because it sounds really petty, but is when you're going out to eat and they come up and they say, how are the first few bites tasting? I don't know why, but it drives me crazy because it's unoriginal. So I'm not going, the whole point of me saying that is because I'm not going to say, oh, there's the lizard. I'm not going to say last pack mojo. But hopefully our last pack is good. It's an auto or a relic. Otani, Castillo, Sanchez, Zach Collins. Got a tops now. Albert Pujols, Petey Alonso, Rookie Cup, Verlander, Jesse Winkler, and what? It's weird. I'll just check on the back there. They're literally the exact same card. Maybe one's in advanced stats or something. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so this is an advanced stats card. Pete Alonzo rookie cap. You look here on the back. It's numbered to 300. And that's where you get all the analytics on there. So... Rob, you <laughs> you uh, you got your your numbered polar bear. I just don't think this is the one that you wanted. Ask and you shall receive. Yeah, this is a retail box brand, not jumbo. It just looks fat. Miggy, Alexander, Buster Posey. Oh, perfect. So you're completely satisfied. Drury, Eloy, Matty Carpenter, Kimbrell, Zach Collins, rookie, Josh Bell, Schwarber, and Hector Neris. All right. All right. So we still have 55 minutes. Our Topps Chrome box will not take us that long. Uh, but let's let's just go over some of the hits here really quickly. Yeah, it was, it was odd that it was the exact same card in the same pack. That's really the only way I would have known. So... Let's go over some of the heroes from our, arguably, our worst product. So, expectations were not high here. We had an Aquino. We had a Lizard. 
You had the advanced stats Alonzo going to Rob. He got his polar. Uh, Matt Thass is gold. So then we got into the spicy pack, the Kyle Lewis and the Jordan back to back. Brendan McKay, Trent Grisham, which I really like. AJ Puck. Oh, I didn't even sleeve that. Gonsolin, Ken Griffey, Arosa Reina, Ozzy Albies, Dylan Cease. There's your Victor Robles. This is a um, relic card. It is a piece of his bat. Piece of his bat. That actually says... Oh. It literally says right on the card, this item. I don't know if you can see that. says, this item is not from the 2019 World Series. Thanks, Tops. Trout, not reversed. The reverse of the reverse. Carrot Top, Nico Horner, Gavin Lux, Nick Solak, Logan Allen Foil, Biggio, don't even know why that's in there, and then an AJ Puck Foil Rookie. Now, so I'm just going to set these aside. Then we have our big boys. Well, I don't. I put them in a different pile. That's what differentiates them. We've got our Zach Gallen, Gavin Lux, Arbuschet, and then of course our Gavin Lux short print. So those are the hits from the first box, and are like I said, arguably the worst box. Now we're going to move into a little bit more of a bigger product. We're going to move into our Topps Chrome. Topps Chrome. Now, Top Scrum is basically the exact same as Top Series 1, except it has Top Series 2 in there as well, and basically just all the best cards and all the rookies. I guess this year the big difference is, is that Louis Robert is in, or Louis, Louis Robert is in this product, and that's kind of the big chase um, from this set. So let's just bust these all out. Now these have 24 packs, and I believe they each have 4 cards in them. So it tends to go a little bit faster. But there's also not all that crap in there. The turkey garbage and stuff that no one cares about. And then this piece of cardboard. Yay. Uh, well, it's, that's what it says. Ask and you shall receive. So, Randy. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Sorry about that. I made a new list. So we're going to pop this up. Boom! There's the list. Can we see everyone? There we go. New list. So who do we have here? We've got Richard with Toronto. We've got Chicago's going... Oh, jeez, Bernard. Bernard, probably one of the nicest guys out there. But never a guy you want to see in a Raz with you or something like that. So we start off with the Devers. Yeah, the graphics should be changed. Freeman. Wow. Wow. First pack. Tony Gonzalez. Gonzolin. However you say it. Purple Auto. Purple auto. And then underneath it. So that's numbered 14 to 250. Who's got the Dodgers? Alex. Alex with the hits from the 60s, 70s, and 80s. I'm trying to. These are fat cards. There we go. Gonsolin. Gone Solin. Numbered 14 to 250. So right out right off the bat. We're banging some hits. It's a rookie, it's an auto, it's purple. We'll take it. I always wonder, and, and you guys can call me out if you want, <laughs> when people when someone else gets like a hit. Oh, there's a chrome card here. We got a Goldschmidt, and we have an Eric Hosmer. Mop. Charlie Blackman. When someone gets a hit, I know everyone in the group will like. You can see here, nice hit, nice hit. 
Is anyone ever jealous? Sometimes I get jealous and I'm like, hmm, that's a really nice card. I want that card. Does anyone get jealous? Or is everyone just Mother Teresa in this room? We got a Lucas Giolito, Archie Bradley, jeez. George Springer, and Jose Altuve. This is a, an Astros pack. Really? Other people get jealous? <laughs> okay, good, good. I just say it in my head. I'm like, fuck. I'd really like that card. <laughs> I guess we're just, we're too Canadian. We're too Canadian for this hobby. Uh, we've got a Domingo Labra, Leba. Chris Paddock. Oh, man. Nah. Zach Gallon Auto. Motherfuck. Who has that? Eric, people who know me know that there's two things that I love, three things. I love my wife, I love my son, and I love Zach Gallon, in that order. Zach Gallon Rookie Chrome Auto. Beautiful. Oh, I like it. I like it a lot. Well, we got our two pitcher autos, but, I mean, if you're going to get a pitcher auto... You gotta be pretty happy with the two that just popped up there. Now, the problem is we got both of our autos in the first four packs, so. Sideways card. Colin Moran. Oh, thought that was a Kyle Lewis. And a Rowdy Telez. I actually really, really like Topps Chrome. Um, a, because it grades so well. And B, because it uh, tends to filter out all the other crap. Um, so I think Ben Intendi, oh, and a Tatis Future Stars Refractor. Seen some of those floating around that have just come back and have started gemming. And uh, that's no kick in the pants. Oh, shit. I put it right behind the frame. Put it right here. Yeah, the autos, they're both pitchers, but... Then we've got an Aquino. We've got Kikuchi again. An Aquino again. And a Rios, Rios I really like. I won't say that too loud, but Rios I really like. He did some awesome things for the Dodgers at third base, and if Justin, well, they're, they're letting Justin Turner go so that Rios can take a full-time slot. Now, if Aquino can ever learn how to hit, then uh, he's got two fat cards right in this pack. He's got his rookie and his rookie refractor. And the great thing about Topps Chrome is that, minus any surface imperfections, Everything else has a great, you always have a great shot at a 10. So, that, I mean, if you're looking for packs, like, that was a pretty sick pack. I'm happy with that pack. I hope you are, too. Oh, there's everyone saying, nice hit, nice hit, nice hit. Wish with... If there's another good hit in here, can people just be honest? <laughs> just say exactly what they think? I'd love that. Got a Matty Boyd. And an Altuve Prism, it looks like. Yeah. It's pretty off-center, too. Altuve Prism. Beautiful. So that's my command. The next hit that happens, people have to be honest. It's the only ask. All right. So we got a Flaherty. We've got Abreu. We've got Scott Kingery. And Victor Reyes. Nothing too exciting there. If you're out there in TV land watching this, uh, ooh, we've got something coming up here. Syndergaard and, oh, a Mike Trout. Mike Trout Refractor 1985. So that will look nice and pretty on... Alex. <laughs> this is basically Alex's box.
I don't know if that's be honest with Alex material. But if you really like my trout, feel free. Feel free to be honest with him. Robbie Ray, now with, he was with the Jays. I think he's still with the Jays. We got a little Max Munts in our life. Kyle Lewis, rookie refractor. And Paul DeYoung. So these 1985 refractors are popping up here now. Kyle Lewis, Mike Trout, both decent to have. All right, so I'm still waiting for that honest hit, honest worthy hit. Brian Anderson, got something here. Freshman Flash, Nico Horner, that certainly is not it. Let's switch it up and go to this pile here. Let's see if we can change things up a bit. Oh, Eddie Rosario, got an Aaron Judge, he's on the front of the box, so he must be good. Corey Seager with the MVP, so he is good. And then Hank Aaron inserts are no longer cool anymore, Tops, so stop giving us inserts. I'm really hoping that we hit a ruling of Luis Robert or a Bichette so that people can be honest. Ooh, something sparkly there. Get a JD. Austin Nola rookie and a Trevor Story Prism. What's it? Prism? X Factor. Two is Trevor Stories. Come on, Tops. You're not even trying anymore. And let's be honest, 2020 was not the year of Tops trying hard. Sheldon, with the guy with the weird last name. Trey Mancini. Matt Olson. Kevin Biggio. One time it's got to be like a Robert Rookie at the Shed and Alvarez. One of these refractors has to come through. Oh, there's my man. There's my boy, Reese. Justin Dunn. Austin Riley, not cool. And Mookie Betts. So we're heading on a bit of a cold streak here. Started out beautifully with our, our nice autos there. Oh. And my extra light just died, but maybe that will help things out a little bit. Kyle Lewis, rookie, there we go. Adrian Moore, John. I mean, Kyle Lewis, at least he's sleeve worthy. Let me tell you. So we've got uh, one, two, three, four, seven packs left. Seven packs left. So let's see here, we've got Mitch Hanniger. Ooh, a green Lorenzo Cain. Fuck you, Lorenzo Cain. Dustin May and Carlos Correa. Why do they have, why do our good parallels have to be bad players? This guy in the back here, Andleton Simmons. Oh, there's a Luxie. Luxy, Lindor, Kevin Newman. Newman. So we got our Lux rookie. We're still waiting for the big two, though. Robert and Bichette. Adible Adbert Alzale. Polar Bear. Marcio Dubon and Bryce. All right, folks, we are down to four packs left. Four. 16 cards left. I would really like to, oh, there's a Rosarena rookie. Right on the top. Chris Paddock, Walker Bueller, and Raciel Iglesias. Your Rosarena looks good, looks nice, looks crisp. So we're basically hit all of the rookies that are worthwhile, except for the two that everyone cares about. Which would be really Oh, 
Oh, relax there, Bernard. John Means. You hit pretty much everything in Series 1. But it does suck when your first pick does not. Three more. Kevin Newman. Matt Olson. Austin Riley. Sam Hilliard. I'm not going to say it, but I hope this is full of Roberts and Bichette's. Sin Su Chu. Oh, it made my heart skip a beat there. Toro, AJ Puck, and Urias. So just a little recap of what we had found in there. We had a Randy, Gavin Lux, Cal Lewis, Cal Lewis, Mike Trout, Aquino, Aquino Refractor, Rios, Tatis. And then our two autos were actually probably the best two cards of the whole thing. We had our Zach Gallen autograph. I remember I paid $38 for this when they first came out. And we have a Tony Gunsolin purple auto, number to 250. All right, folks, so I'm going to go. I'm going to divvy these up and uh, split them up and make sure they go to their rightful places. Remember, tomorrow night we've got our Bowman draft break and our Bowman break. And um, if anyone's looking for upcoming breaks, we've got some Bowman Draft 2019 Super Jumbos. And <laughs> yeah, I'm getting booed here. <laughs> 2019 Super Jumbos that we're going to be breaking at some point in the next few weeks. Um, I will ship your Harper tonight, and I will make sure that I fling it at your house as I drive by. No, no, no. There's only two autos. Okay. Yeah, here you look. I'll show you the box. Um, right there. Two Chrome autograph cards per box. Uh, yeah. Hit the like. Give us a subscribe. Tell your friends. Tell your spouses. Tell your children. Tell everyone. Get them to come on board. And uh, I'll see you guys in like seven minutes when we go and chat together. All right, guys. Have a good one. Have a good night.